From the drum beats to the defeats, from the leg breaks to the mistakes, from the rip flares to the rotten stairs, from the pennies thrown to the chances blown. Since 2005, the F3 Derby has delivered goals, fashion foes, and created heroes. But most of all, it's kept the coaches, players, and supporters on their toes. Be at Central Coast Stadium this Saturday, 11 October, for Hyundai Ailey. 2014-15, round one, the F3 Derby. Kickoff, 5 p.m. Tickets at Ticketek or the gate. Bill, did you, um, I think you've done enough to, to get a point or get something out of that? Yeah, look, it was a, it was a cruel way to, to lose the game, Jim, that's for sure. I think... You know, I spoke about winning and what it costs, and I think we got the perfect instance there at the end of the game that that's what it costs. You know, dealing with a situation that was, you know, close to the end of the game, and we didn't deal with it unfortunately. But the only thing I'm going to take from the game is the positives. Um, I don't know what the stats are in terms of possession and everything else, but I felt for long periods we controlled the game. Um, the boys, to a man, put in a, a solid performance. I got no real complaints in regards to, to how the boys are quitting themselves and entered into the fray of the game. Um, look, we sorted things out at half time in terms of helping us, and I think in the second half we did quite well. Unfortunately, Johnny Steele in, in particular, just flashing through my memory banks of the game, missed that goal where he hit the top of the net. And then I thought we did quite well. Um, credit to Central Coast, they got going, you know, they kept going and they got the goal at the end, but. Um, I think it's fair to say it was one we let go there. Is that where the, uh, when I say the cultural shift, is that where the shift has to be? <laughs> Central Coast seems to do that a lot, and the Jets seem to have that occurred on a lot in the past. You know, I mean, those key moments at the end or, or where, wherever it is, that's where the development has to be. Yeah, you've, you've, worded, you've worded that well, and I think that's probably been the difference for us. I think it was disappointing. Obviously, the captain in there for us has, has had a bit of a go, and rightly so, you know, in the, in the manner that we lost the game. but. Culturally, I think we've we've certainly improved. Um, you know, coming to the club and, and, and recognising where you feel you need to improve in certain areas surrounding the mentality of the club and the group, I think we've we've addressed some issues and we've moved forward, that's for sure. Um, hopefully the game was a reflection of us moving forward. It's going to take us some time to, to bet in what we actually want in terms of how we want to play and, and everything else, but I think there was some real positives. Edson Montagna was a guy that, that did very well for us, um, as did everybody else, really. I can't really pick anyone out and say they didn't perform and weren't part of it. I'm sat here with a loss, and I find it very hard and difficult. I'm upset about you know, losing the game, but that's football, and we need to, yeah, we need to reflect on the game and, and work towards next week. Is there Yeah, look, it's it's obviously a situation there where he's felt a little bit guilty about you know not dealing with with the free kick at the end of the game. But I've got nothing against Taylor. I thought he had a fabulous game and he's done everything he could for the club. He's he's not really you know intentionally got himself in that situation. It, it has it is what it is, and it's it's obviously happened. And hopefully we can learn from that. Um, and look, we'll pick ourselves up. We'll have recovery tomorrow, and we'll look forward to next week. Sam Gallagher was very good. He's a kid that. <coughs> Him and Q Jallians were very good, you know, solid. They, they kept possession well and they started a lot of the play for us. And Sam's a guy that I spoke to him before the game has, has actually come from, I think it was Central Coast and then Sydney and Melbourne before he's come over to Newcastle Jets. And to give a kid the actual opportunity to go and play, I think you've seen the fruition of giving a player some confidence. Um, he's certainly got a lot to, to work with as a package. He's got a lot of weapons in there and he's a kid that wants to learn. He's got a very good footballing brain, for those that don't know the guy. And I was very pleased with his performance. What's one area other than the last minutes? Anything you weren't happy with today? Yeah, we need to score goals, Jim. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think there was a few occasions there with a little bit more polish in the front third might have got us that opportunity to, to bury the goal. Um, from uh, Again, I'm just going from memory here. I haven't seen any of the highlights, but we had a few shots on target there. and. Ready, the keeper made a couple of good saves. We just went 
on the front foot to maybe get the rebound there. But I think overall we, we did quite well. Um, and again, we look forward to next week. Congratulations to Central Coast. Difficult defeat to take, but that's that's how it is. As I said, I, I've not seen the replay. I'm just going from from my own eyesight and vision from how far, however far that I was away. Um, look, if there was a push or whatever it was, the balls ended up in the back of the net, and we just take it on the chin and, and dust ourselves off. Okay, thanks, guys. <laughs>